Sports anchor Nick King is here now to show us which teams are moving on. Nick. Well, Ralph, we started the night with 22 teams, including five of the six number one seats. The top dog in Division One, Edison, trying to avoid a playoff upset at the hands of a track school for the second year in a row. Tigers hosting the fifth-seeded Clovis High Cougars coming off their upset of Clovis North. And Clovis is leading 14-0 with seven minutes to play when Edison's Kai Williams finally gets his team on the board. They missed the point after, but two minutes later, Hunter Swearingen going to keep it himself and watch the effort from the QB. He's in, got to go for two to tie it. And Swearingen goes to the freaky deaky A.J. Greeley. Good guy to go to. We're tied. Sunnyside Stadium rocking. And with 30 seconds to play, it's Williams. Are you kidding? Heartbreaker for Clovis Edison going to the Valley title game under Matt Johnson. And they will play the Liberty Bakersfield Patriots who hammered the Drillers tonight. To D2, possibly the game of the night on paper, Dinuba at Lamore. One loss between them. Emperor scored first, but here's Tigers QB Court Grothaus, who is one tough kid. Finding the end zone, tied at seven early. Back comes Dinuba. Isaac Lepke to a wide open Emiliano Huerta. Breakdown in coverage, and then watch the tight end shed a tackle. 84 yard score. Visitors sideline. It's a party. First play of the second quarter now. Danube has the great back, Michael Wright. They also have Jacob Rico, another senior. Emperor's ahead 21 7. Lamore not going down without a fight, though. Watch Grothaus again make a heck of a play. Buying time and heaving one for A.J. Bow, who wheels his way in for six, but not enough offense in the second half. Danuba will play Ridgeview in the D2 title game after the Wolfpack sink Sanger 30 to 23. D3, the Bullpups of Hanford hosting Bakersfield Christian. Got out to a big lead early. The Eagles were primed for a comeback until the Hanford D got to them. Kaipo Barnes a fumble recovery leading 28-14. Then later in the third quarter, Mario Saavedra with the fumble recovery after someone makes a great strip. Bulldogs O turned that into points. Joseph McDaniel scoring from a yard or two out to go ahead 34-14. The defense then got a fourth down stop and a pick six later as Hanford advances 40-21. Their opponent coming from this one a couple miles away in Tulare. Madera and Mission Oak scored 56 and 63 respectively a week ago. They put on a show tonight too. Trey McJunkin to Artemio Padilla. Racing down the sideline, 7 0 early. Back come the Coyotes. Jesus Jimenez going to score and tie this one. And now Mission Oak, another long Hawks touchdown. Leandre Jefferson. This game went to double overtime, and Madera wins on the road. Final score here, 31 28. They will be back in the South Valley next week. Continuing with D4 now, Liberty Madera Ranchos trying to keep the undefeated dream alive. Leading Golden West 10-7 in the third, one of the Wallace brothers. The senior Wade scores the short TD, 17-7. Then the defense, Trevor Stevens tips it, CJ Cabra finds it, and it's a big man with the football. The Hawks would then put it away with a Jackson Watts run. They have got running backs for days, it seems like. They beat the Trailblazers 30-14. They will host a title game in a week. Other side of the bracket, another, another two versus three. CVC against Chavez. Tight game in the second half. Cavaliers leading 31-28. Jack Vanderdusen to Colin Stockton. And look at the move on the sideline. No way. About 90 some odd yards there. Yes way. The 10 point lead for the Cavaliers. Chavez hanging around late though. Watch the crazy touchdown here. Looking like Russell Wilson back there. But Chavez scores here to get within three. CVC gets the onside kick and survives and advances. In D5, Fowler coming off the upset of Kern Valley at the third seed, Emmanuel. And the Eagles' D is fierce. The fourth down stop there. We didn't have a ton of highlights here. Timing wasn't great for us, but you see Emmanuel running here. They ran away with it late. A 29-14 win to end the Red Cats run. And Emmanuel 
will play host in the D5 Finals, and it'll be the Corcoran Panthers coming to town after they get another upset, beating Mendota 27-13. And in the one championship game tonight, Division VI, Avenal went on the road and sees their season end. Final score 41 to 20 at Kennedy. A great run for the Buccaneers falls short. Five championship games next week, Ralph.